Good, good evening. And I don't know the time you're watching. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. But this recording is taking place in the night. Let us pray. Father Lord, we thank you. We give you glory, give you honor, give you adoration. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time. Thank you, Lord, for making us to see the end of the year. Thank you, Lord, for making us to see a brand new year. From January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, you have sustained us, kept us. Thank you for this, your son, your daughter that is listening right now. Holy Spirit, over to you. Less of me, more of you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching. But right now, I'm actually recording this on the 31st of December, 2020 at about 9.10, between 9.10 p.m., roughly about quarter past 9 uh, p.m. on the last day in the year 2020. And uh, to, to the glory of the Lord and to the shame of the devil, uh, this is something the Holy Spirit has been inspiring for since the ministry started. So we come on the 30th, 31st, depending on how the Holy Spirit leads, to give us the prophecy for the year. So tonight I'm here to give us a prophecy for the year. And by God's grace on our Facebook page during our crossover service, that will be shared. Or on YouTube, I normally record for us to be able to run the vision. The Bible says write down the vision. And then at, at the appointed time, it will come to pass. Because there are sometimes a prophecy comes and people, people, the heathen always ask, so why didn't it come to pass? Because God gave it and is the one that makes it to come to pass. And there are sometimes people complain and make noise, a lot of noise, I call it noise, saying that, oh, why didn't the prophet see? Why didn't the man of God see this? Why didn't the woman of God see this? My brother, my sister, God reveals to whom he wants to reveal, what he wants to reveal, at whatever time he wants to reveal. Remember the story of Isaiah? Isaiah went to tell the king that, prepare your house, you're going to die. The same God told him to go back to Ezekiah and tell him that he will not die. Anybody that would have thought of uh, Isaiah would think, oh my word, what a false uh, prophet this is. But you know what? The prophet was not a liar. So this night, by God's grace, uh, what the Lord has, I've been waiting upon the Lord, and the Lord responded to me as usual. And it's a powerful, it's a grace. I don't take it for granted at all, at all, at all. So we're going to be uh, looking at the prophecy just quickly of what the Lord has for you, for us in the year 2021. As the Lord has said, this is our year of supernatural lifting. That is a situation whereby you know yourself that it's not by strength, it's not by mind. That the Lord is going to move you from the stage where you are to a better level. It's going to be higher and higher. And the Lord said it's our year of supernatural lifting. And I pray for us in the name of Jesus, the grace to be obedient, to walk with what the Lord said. Rest upon us so that we'll be able to enjoy that supernatural lifting in this year, 2021. So for the ministry... The Lord gave the word, Isaiah 60 verse 15, he gave me a word from them. And um, that is um, the, uh, the Bible passage for the ministry. And that Bible says that where you've been forsaken, people will look for you. I just paraphrase it. So please run with it. Last year, the Lord gave us a Bible passage to run with. And that Bible passage worked mighty things, differentiating the people that are heathen and the children of God and those that seek the Lord. So the Bible verse that the Lord has given us for this year is Isaiah chapter 60, verse 50. Isaiah 60, verse 50, which is run wherever you've been forsaken, you will, they will look for you where you've been forsaken, where people have looked down on you. I tell you, in the year 2021, people will come up to look up to, up to you. Then for the members of the ministry, Foundation on a Soil Drug Ministry, Matthew 7 verse 25, this is a word from the Lord for somebody or for some certain categories of people. The, the Lord said that there are sins that have been done in the secret and the message of the Lord Almighty has been speaking. As sins done in secret in this year, it will boomerang if you don't repent. So I'm just going to re read it as the Holy Spirit told me. And uh, looking at the Bible passage, there was a man called Ephraim 
Ephron was a man that the Lord loved. And the Lord sent prophet to him, sent a lot of people to him. Yet he didn't repent. You know what? After some time, the Lord said, let him be. So that's what the Lord said. That since done in secret in this year, it will boomerang. It will be exposed. Such person will be exposed if you refuse to repent. Then for the ministry, the Lord has already spoken where you've been forsaken. The Lord Almighty will remember us. And the Lord told me a few things also. He said everything that we've prayed for in the past years, the manifestation is going to come this year. That is the evidence of your prayer point is going to come this year. And for the body of church, for the body of church, that's the church. And, you know, we are the church. All of us are the church. So this relates to every body of church. And the Lord said, where my landmark has been removed will be visited. Where my landmark has been removed will be visited. Then the Lord told me, people, that is the church, carry a pet, a wolf. They see it, they get hurt, yet pretend. Now, if you keep pretending, you will face a, a full rot if you don't remove the wolf and deal with it. That is secret sins, things that nobody is aware of that uh, you are hiding. And, you know, there are sometimes there are some unconfessed sins. And, you know, the Bible says if a man should confess his sins, he will obtain mercy. But the person that covereth his sins will not obtain mercy. So what do you do? The, the, the Lord is telling us, as according to what the Holy Spirit told me, that there are a lot of things going on in the church that is quite hidden, you know, that is an hidden thing. And a lot of people don't know about it. And sometimes people outside don't know about it, but you, you know. And the illustration the Holy Spirit gave me was somebody carrying a wolf as a pet. And that wolf has beaten her, beaten him, and yet still pretends. No more pretense. The Lord is going to expose if you do not quickly make a, a amendment where there they needs to be, where is restitution, you need to make restitution. Uh, the Lord gave the case study of Samson and Delilah. You know, she was she was somebody that, literally speaking, was a friend of Samson. And Samson kept accommodating her, kept accommodating her, despite the fact that he knew that this woman was asking him questions that was not right. The first time, the second time, she was making mockery of him, yet he still stayed on her lap. That is what the Lord has for this year. Then the Lord said, watch out for new verses that will do mighty things, which will bring fear in the heart of men, to, and to show the mightiness of God. Watch out for new verses that the Lord will use to do great things that will bring fear upon the hearing and to show the mighty, mightiness of Jehovah. Then for the nations, nations in inconspicuous ways, in places that you don't expect, terrorist attacks will take place. That is least expected places. Uh, there will be more flood disaster. The Lord told me there will be flood disasters. There will be a clear demarcation about the water, meaning that the water will flood, will, will react in a negative way. But then, children of God, the water will work for them. It's uh, That's what the Lord said. And the Lord told me, he said, when God wanted to help his children fight a battle, in the, in the Bible passage, he used water to confuse the enemy. When the enemy woke up, they thought it was blood and it was water. That was the illustration the Holy Spirit gave me. So the, there's, there's going to be a lot of flood in this coming year that will cause a lot of havoc. And it's going to affect quite a lot of people. But his children will not be affected. So if the nations could just come back, the leaders could just come back and repent. The message of God will speak. As death is inevitable, prominent people that literally dictate and hold nations will pass away, betting for new ones. That's what the Lord said. And in nations, a law will be passed. Law will be passed. And uh, the Lord showed me a vision where people were given some, like, a, it looked like, a, um, uh, I don't know what it was, but like a mark or something on their hand. But later, the people regretted that they did it. That was what the Lord showed me. There will be regret about the, it was an implant. Yeah, I wrote it down. Implants, implant that will be giving people that people, they will regret that they did it because it's not going to, uh, it's going to boomerang in a way. But there was a lot of regret in that vision that the Lord showed me. And um, yes, and that's about what the Lord told me regarding when I asked the Holy Spirit, Father, show me the deep secret of next year and i know that the lord almighty that has spoken will surely come will bring it to pass except if the lord did not speak for people in the ministry put your mind at rest 
In this year, 2021, the Lord has spoken that the prayer point you've been praying for a long time, the manifestation of those prayer points is going to manifest in this year, 2021. And I know that the Lord Almighty will help us, give us the grace to be steadfast. If you've been serving God, serve Him more, because the signs of the end times are here. Last year, the Holy Spirit said it, that the signs will be more evident. And the Holy Spirit told me, He said, the nations generally, the year is going to be last year, the Holy Spirit told me, he said the year will be like when you trouble water. You know how it is. And the Lord said, regarding this year, it's going to remain, you know, even worse. It's going to be worse where there will be no peace. Everything will be troubled. But not for his children. Does says the Lord. Let us pray. Father, Lord, King of kings, Lord of Lord, I thank you. I give you glory. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord, because you said I should write down the vision. And at the appointed time, it will come to pass. I have spoken what you've sent me, Lord, my Father. I thank you for the great privilege that you spoke. I thank you, Lord, because I know that everything you said shall come to pass. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, Lord, because I know that in the year 2021, we shall experience supernatural lifting. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. 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 Happy New Year. Welcome to the year of supernatural lifting. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.